Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of LHSRH, the show where I, Luis Henrique, talk about Rio's history. Look at the Corcovado right over here. One of the best things about the Corcovado is the view. I mean, look at it. You can't, you can't find this anywhere else. It's a pretty beautiful view. Could you imagine what life would be like if you actually managed to stay in a house that had this view? I mean, someone who got that life-changing experience was Charles Darwin. Yes, the man credited with inventing the theory of evolution himself. He came here to Rio de Janeiro in 1832 as a part of his legendary voyage aboard the HMS Beagle. So here we are at the Flamengo's landfill, and I know what you might be thinking, wait, what does this have to do with Charles Darwin? Well, this place is actually a prime example of the Atlantic forest. Basically, the thing that he was sent to explore in 1831 when he set sail aboard the HMS Beagle to explore South America. And due to the amount of findings that he was making here in the area, this trip turned out to be a massive success. So much so that this voyage was actually originally meant to be only two years long, but ended up being five years and resulted in the creation of his very, very famous book, The Voyage of the HMS Beagle. And whilst he didn't just explore Brazil, it's obvious that this part of his journey was a very important one due to the fact that the second chapter of his book was entirely dedicated to Rio de Janeiro. And shortly after arriving here on the 4th of April of 1832, he was allowed to explore Rio and he decided to take a 16 day long horse trip to explore and describe the geology of the area. And you guessed it, the crew and I decided to visit some of the locations that Darwin visited during his expedition. The only difference is that instead of going by horses, my crew and I decided to use the more recent highways built in the area. And in order to showcase the trajectory of our journey, the crew and I decided to invest in this top tier $10 million map of the state of Rio. And as you can see, it's very detailed and probably took hours and hours of research to be created. Yep, the more we upload, the more professional we get. It's exciting and it's weird, but most importantly, it's awesome. But not as awesome as what I'm about to show you now. Look, it's me. I'm going to Saquarema, the third place Darwin visited during his expedition. And during that trip, he actually passed through many beaches like this one, collecting pebbles and shells from the beach rocks. And he eventually arrived here in Saquarema, which actually used to be called Mandechiba. And according to what he said, he actually discovered many different lagoons and lakes that were both made out of salty water and fresher water. And the reason why the name Saquarema might be a little bit familiar to you is actually because Saquarema is the Brazilian round of the World Surf League. You know, like Gabriel Medina, uh, Ito Ferreira, and Felipe Toledo, all of them surf right over there. And I have to say, that beach is so irresistible that I think that Darwin also must have uh, caught some waves as well. That beach is absolutely amazing. It is beautiful. It really is. And after Saquarema, we reached Campos Novos. And during his travels, he would actually stop in places like this, the Campos Novos farm, where he would organize many of his findings and send them back to his mentor in London. Right? In fact, many of the species that he found here still stay in the Cambridge University of Zoology and it has been 190 years since Darwin first arrived here in Rio de Janeiro. And these people are starting the celebrations that uh, are due to happen in April of this year. And according to what he wrote in his book, The Voyage of the Beagle, he and his crew had a delicious meal right here in the Campos Novos farm, which interestingly enough actually is a part now of an agricultural school here in this area so I guess this place makes pretty good food 
And shortly after the celebration that ended, the organizers of this event set up a really cool banner that basically proves that, yeah, Darwin was in fact here. And so just before we continue the video, let's locate ourselves geographically really quickly. Rio de Janeiro, the place that we were in at the beginning of the video, is roughly 60 miles in that direction, right? And from this point, Darwin headed to Macaé, which is 60 miles in the opposite direction, that way, pretty much. And to get there, he most likely had to cross the São João River, which is right behind that mountain over there, which is the mountain du São João. And surprise, surprise, me and the crew went there. Yeah, we really went the extra mile this video. I mean, literally. Look at that, Campos Novos, and now Barra de São João. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so karma. Remember at the beginning of the video when I said that the more we film, the more professional we get? Yeah, the files got corrupted here. Yeah, we lost all the audio. So, uh, yeah, for some strange reason, we lost all the audio in these videos. So uh, hopefully you don't mind me narrating over uh, myself here, I guess. Uh, well, here we are at the Bahia de São João, which is kind of the midway point between where we just were, uh, the Campos Novos farm in Macaé, which was his next stop. And this was actually the furthest point we went, me and the, the crew. And, yeah, uh, this is pretty cool. This area is actually 80 miles, roughly 80 miles away from Rio de Janeiro. And it was just the, the last place we visited. And according to some Brazilian articles, uh, Darwin actually crossed the river that I'm currently uh, above. And it was pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, guys, so just before I sign off, I would just like to briefly show you this map that I made that shows you the entire trajectory that Darwin uh, went through. Uh, and those places that are marked in red are basically the places that we uh, visited during this video. But as you can see, the journey was very, very big, and we only covered a, a, a fraction, but I think it was a, a very healthy fraction. But... Uh, the full journey was actually from Rio de Janeiro, passing to Niterói, then Maricá, Saquarema, Araruama, São Pedro da Aldeia, Cabo Frio, Casimiro de Abreu, Macaé, Conceição de Macabu, and then he returned passing through Rio Bonito and Itaboraí to ultimately return to Rio de Janeiro. So it was a very, very big voyage, and to think that he didn't have cars, he didn't have any sort of like advanced uh, technological transportation like we have today, it, it truly is a testament to his immense passion for what he used to do. And, and yeah, his, many of his theories are, are still used to this day. So really cool stuff. So here we are, we finally reached the end of the video. And it's awesome to think that in 1836, when he finally returned from his big journey, he actually said that this journey that he embarked on was actually the most incredible experience in his life. And to think that the state of Rio was a big part in that is really cool. And the fact that it's a tourist location now makes it even better because it proves the main line of the show. Wherever you are, history will always be the star. That is 100% true. Everywhere you go, there is history. And this is an awesome example about it. Not only is it beautiful, but it's also very important. See you on the next one, guys. Hope you enjoy this third episode of the show. So guys, I kind of have to be honest with you. Uh, all this talk about Darwin and species and stuff has got me really interested in the whole nature of the area. And I'm trying to find something to send to my mentor. So. Uh, right here. Look, look. It's, it's, as you can see, it's a very rare piece of Brazilian grass. I'm going to send this to my mentor, all right? Let's go. Guys, guys, we found a problem. Uh, we don't have enough money to send my little specimen friend here to my mentor. So me and the producers, we actually decided to come up with a more viable option, uh, 
it's 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 gonna work. I <laughs> I, I I have faith in this. We're here we go. See you, little buddy. Hopefully, you reach my mentor. I, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs>